Around the world, every day, thousands if not millions of people are experiencing grave violations of the fundamental freedoms and the human rights. We cannot close our eyes and we have to take decisive action. And to be crystal clear in this room, the universality of human rights and the achievements of the World Conference in Vienna 30 years ago are not subject to negotiation. We need to be aware of the transversal nature of human rights and it really needs to infuse everything that we do. Technology is very important, but at the same time, technology can become the demon if unleashed in a proportion that cannot be controlled. I think we can still find ways and means to get the right guardrails in place for the use, for the development, use, and regulation of AI. And again, human rights comes in as a solution. Young people are organizing for the challenges that they're experiencing, be it climate change, be it issues around water rights, be it issues around participation, representation, and are willing to actually take the action, organize, and actually be part of the solution. Testimony of two women in court is equal to testimony of one man which means that um, women are considered half a human. If this is not gender apartheid, what is this? So I have a clear um, proposal that I hope you will uh, take into consideration my proposal that gender apartheid should also be introduced into human rights concepts. when you need to read and you don't have to beg people for that. The same goes for education, the same goes for voting, the same goes for existing as a person. I think that's the freedom of existing that way, the right to have that and having that with dignity.